Many women say they are finding it very hard to find a man who makes as much as they do. And this is changing the age-old mentality that men are the breadwinners. And researchers say they are seeing a trend of women dating down, which what? means, you dating know, a man down. who... Oh, dating man. down. So women, you know, we're more educated now. And so with that being said, we're going to hold off on the baby making. We're going to hold off until we get that great job. Really career driven. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with hoping that there's someone either on your level or higher than you. So before, right, it was okay when the man made more money to be the one to buy everything, to do, you know, treat you and all this other kind of stuff. And now that you make more money, you can't be that one because you're dating down. Dating down. What is up, everyone? My name is C. Welcome to the C Talks channel. If you are new, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Let's keep blowing the C Talks channel up. I just played you guys that clip. Let's react here in this clip. We have this young, I think she's, a, she's like a reporter and she's doing a segment on how women are tired of dating down and they're dating men who don't make as much money as them, et cetera, et cetera. And they actually, it's surprising and hilarious, right? How her co-anchors actually got into it with her during that segment. And they're like for years back in the day, before women had all this equality, it was okay for a man to pay for everything, pay for all the bills, and and basically take care of you. And now that women fought for all these equal rights and advanced in the workplace and the workforce, they view dating a man who makes less money than them as something bad, and it's called dating down. I'd like to give a personal example. I'm a first-generation immigrant. I was not born in the U.S., my grandmother did not work a day in her life. She dedicated her life to raising 13 kids. That's my grandma, y'all. She's still alive. Shout out to grandma. But yeah, so was and my grandfather was a hard working man. He was a successful entrepreneur, made his own money, made enough money to raise 13 kids in a third world country. Successful man. But even in my family and in my recent lineage, there I, I, I personally know a woman who never worked a day in her life. So now, fast forward to 2024. We're here in, in, in our little bubble of delusion in the West. And women here view dating a man who makes less than them, or maybe even almost the same as them, as not ideal they want to date men who make as much money as them or more money money than them so how does that work out and how does that pan out it doesn't end well for the women because i'll tell you this from personal experience as a man i don't care how much money a woman makes men don't care how much money a woman makes it's true like i don't care what position a woman holds that's not something that I have like on my list of what I desire in a female. I'm and I'm saying this just off the cuff, right? What do I look for in a woman? Attractive, chill, laid back, not pushy, assertive, not super domineering, you know, lets me be a guy. This is me being blunt and honest. That's what I look for. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with money or income. So have I been dating down? All my life because all the women that I date for the most part make less money than me. No, I don't care about money as a as a man. Women care about money as women. They want men who can provide. They want providers. So, of course, if women are spending all this time excelling, making more money, climbing the corporate ladder, they're going to have a smaller and smaller pool of men to choose from and date because... There's not that many men that make as much money as they do. And that's just the harsh reality. It's the the truth. You know, the truth hurts, but it'll also set you free. And it'll give you a better idea of what you should be pursuing in this thing called life that we're all a part of. This whole dating down thing is, is in the first world here in the U.S. And it's part of the eminist ideology you know, go, go, girl, go get your money, make as much money as you can. Oh, but uh, hey, don't date any guy that makes as much as you were less because that's dating down. And what you deserve is a guy that makes 
hundreds of hundreds of millions of billions of dollars. You deserve Jeff Bezos, girl. The woman in this video also says that there's nothing wrong with hoping that you'll meet somebody that makes as much or more than you, i.e. there's nothing wrong with hoping that you're going to meet somebody who's on your level or higher. I say you ha you have to be realistic. You have to understand that, right? Women are excelling. They're graduating college at rates never seen before. They're climbing and, and reaching high positions and making more money than they ever have. When you spend decades of your life, 10, 20 years, just chasing the bag, working on yourself professionally, trying to climb the corporate ladder and all the things that modern women do nowadays. Of course, every single year that passes and you make more money and you're better off financially, you're going to find less partners who make as much as you because that's the only thing that you're focused on. It's the only thing that you're focused on. As a, as a first generation immigrant, I'm going to tell you guys this. Just me personally, I'm done with the whole like trying to be a super successful, make a crap load of money and work my ass off type of guy. At this age, I'm 35, going to be 36 this year. I like my I like a, a work life balance. I like to work, make good money, but I also like to take breaks and enjoy my life because you only live once, yo. You only get one life and it goes by fast. And the older you get, it'll go by faster. So enjoy your life. Don't just spend 10, 20 years just climbing the corporate ladder and making money, 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 money. And then you all of a sudden don't have any dating options because you want to date somebody who makes as much as you. He, here's a, a stat which highlights just this whole dating down thing. Morgan Stanley did a study that predicts that 45% of women ages 25 to 44 will be single and childless by the year 2030. That's 45%. That's almost half. So as a result of all these movements and women excelling in the workforce and getting more degrees and climbing the corporate ladder, more and more of them are going to be single and childless in the West. By the time we hit 2030, which is 2024, is already alive and kicking. It's almost March, so... We got six years till half of women, 25 to 44, are single and childless in the U.S. What does the future look like in the U.S.? Just a bunch of old women just with cats and dogs. I don't know. I don't see myself retiring in the U.S., if I'm being honest. Let's talk a little more about something that I came across while I was doing a little research for this video. Apparently, singles outspend U.S. households, right? So... Apparently, singles outspend households in the U.S. So in, in, in a number of categories, I might even put the graphic up just so you guys can check it out. So in certain categories of spending, single men and single women spend way more than a household. And it makes sense, right? If you're part of a household, you're a unit, you're a team. You know, maybe the, the woman consults her husband before she's going to go spend money on something. Maybe the man consults his wife and asks her, hey, do you think buying this is a good idea? Let's talk about it. You know, they do things as a team and as a unit. You know, in 20 years, our, our child is going to go to college. Let's save money so he gets a good education. So couples work in teams. Households work as a unit. They're not just, oh, this person's doing this, that person's doing that. This person's very individual. No, like you try to work as a team when you're a household. It's no surprise that singles spend more money. If you were a corporation and you wanted to make money, and I'm not going to get into the whole social engineering thing, but this is food for thought. If you were a group of large corporations living in a capitalistic country, wink, wink, <coughs> the U.S., um, it benefits you if most of the population is single because they're going to spend more than households. It just it just is what it is, yo. All right. So that was food for thought. Um, if you guys liked this video, you'll also like this other video up on the screen. My name is C. Appreciate you guys watching. I will be back 
with more videos soon. Peace.